paid on here. Okay, I'm checking back in on my AS Rock virus scan with Dr. Webb Kruelt antivirus, and it actually, in the status bar, seems to be in the same place after several hours. Oh, st hmm. starting time, it says 1 hour 56 minutes. Time remaining 22 hours, 18 minutes, 19, 20 minutes. And still just the one uh, threat detected. I thought it was hung up. I've looked on it. It's, it's uh, been in that same general area for two, three hours now. thought it was hung up, but uh, it's still crawling through. You can see it changing directories. It's just taking a while. Um, <coughs> well, monitor went to sleep. <coughs> I hate that. Okay. Um, actually, probably wasn't the monitor going to sleep. It was probably the uh, operating system's default timeout, uh, which is fine on a live system, but I have the same problem on my Fedora 23. No matter what I set in any of the desktops, I have three different KDE, Mate, uh, XFCE, I think, and oh, and uh, Cody, XBMC. Now I call it Cody. Doesn't matter what I've gone through every one of them. Doesn't matter what I set, it goes off every 10 or 15 minutes. Even when I'm doing stuff, even when, well, if I'm doing things on applications, it doesn't seem to do it. But if I'm watching videos, if I watch a 30-minute video, it'll go off two or three times. It just pisses me off. So I've searched into it, tried to see a way to stop it, and I haven't found a way yet. Found a. Uh, so anyway, that's beside this point here. Uh, I easily distract these days, don't I? So anyway, um, I'm, I'm gonna just let this thing run. I seen. I remember one of them taking longer. I, don't, I guess this was the one. I don't know that it's necessarily because it's more in depth of a scan. Although it does, it's not skipping anything. It's scanning every directory. I can tell that, which is good. I wasn't quite sure if it was gonna do a quote smart scan or what, because it didn't give you many options, but. Uh, just let me select what uh, drives I want to scan, basically, not how in-depth I wanted to do it. So, um, I guess it defaults to uh, in-depth, what they generally call an in-depth scan. Scan all files, that's what, uh, like say I've asked, you can say scan all files, you know. And that's what it does. So, uh, that's what's happening here. And like I said earlier, it has to found this uh, something wrong uh, some probably exactly what was causing my problem with Firefox the host something in the host file um, Windows host file so uh, causing Firefox to open up and try to go to a website is more than that there's an application just something in your host file will just make it happen when you you know when you open up your web browser but, so there's more to it there's an attached application somewhere it's making all this happen so hopefully it'll find it and get it out of there and if there's several more then I guess I'll try can't do a uh, Kepra Sky because it won't run on this system a VBA rescue probably blue will I may do that next and then that's like it's all of them I've got set up and that's really I think it's about all I want to try the only thing I was thinking earlier um, if I can't get this thing to, you know, come up with zero uh, problems, then uh, I may just go through this, uh, get on, you know, put it to a live system, Fedora probably, um, and just manually delete every folder in this thing except uh, where my files are that I want to keep backed up. And, just, and then I have another little 30 gig hard drive that I could put in this machine and uh, install either Linux OS or or Windows. I could put it just enough room you can get Windows 7 on there. I think it takes almost 8 or 10 gig by the time you get it installed. Then you'd have a little bit of room to have, you know, run a few apps. And uh, because uh, because uh, I have noticed in the past that when you, I might do that because I've noticed in the past when you're running uh, 
for uh, Fedora and uh, you try to write to an NTFS partition it's really really slow it does it but it's slow so that might be aggravating um, I set up one system generally I don't try to do that uh, except for just a few files here and there but I set up a system for somebody where it's a dual boot with Windows 7 and Fedora 20 or 22 or something actually I think I use Corora the Fedora remix and uh, I set up Lucky Backup my favorite backup software. I uh, use it in Linux for years and uh, they also have a version for Windows so I could go in each operating system and have it. I made three partitions, well four really, but anyway Windows, Backup, and Linux. That's basically how it was divided up. And then the, the backup partition I would have either operating system right to the uh, to that backup partition, you know, with Lucky Backup. And uh, it was painfully slow. They had a lot of pictures and stuff that I was saving from their old machine. And uh, it was painfully slow to to get that all backed up the first time um, from, from the Linux side. So uh, it's been several years now, so I can't remember the, all the details on why it was kind of an aggravation but uh, and now that was in older versions uh, well I don't haven't yeah I haven't done much writing to NTFS from Fedora since then so Fedora actually is using I think they're using BTRFS as their well they still have ext4 for the grub and then BTRFS no they're not they're talking about it I don't think they're using it yet might be a BTRFS uh, that the LVM's built on. I can't remember now. So anyway, if it is, then that maybe that's supposed to have a lot of good features. You know, um, for instance, managing. I tried it out on one system early, early on, and it uh, with this hard drive. I put Fedora. This hard drive was, was one other thing I was going to get around to. Is uh, it's old and it throws errors, and that's actually why I chose it to put. Uh, I think it's a 250 gigabyte hard drive, and why I put uh, Windows 7 on it in the first place is because I could set it up to automatically uh, run, uh, let's say, test disk. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, I guess it is test disk on, on 7. I always think in XP days because that's when I really use Windows a lot, but uh, scan disk, check disk, all that. Uh, Anyway, it, I can set it up to automatically run that and fix, you know, move all, uh, mark all bad sectors and do that all that automatically. Um, and in Linux, it does do it. Actually, automatically, you don't even have to do it yourself. It'll do it every so, if you just let your system set up the way most of them, most Linux distros are set up, it'll do it after so many boots. But, uh, I, uh, well, years ago, several years ago, when I first started realizing that drive was getting old, I had a Linux system that uh, had some file error problems in it. It would break, it broke the operating system, and I thought it was that hard drive's fault cause, because I discovered it was getting old. And and, uh, and then uh, it was when I'd run tests on it, it would show pre-failure mode. Of course, that was years ago, but. Uh, Later on, I finally figured out that, that I put that machine out in the garage and took everything out of it. And I was messing around. Oh, I took the power supply out to put it in something else. And uh, it was, when I was testing it, it turned out it was uh, about to fail. And it was under voltage. So uh, I was putting out like 11, 11 and a half volts or something. So uh, on the 12 volt rails. So. That was actually what my problem was. I was trying. I had several, hard, two or three hard drives in that machine, plus a video card, and so uh, that was ended. I finally figured out two or three years later that was the real problem. So um, anyway, I, I I had already done that with that hard drive and uh, already put the Windows 7 on it, and uh, and until I got this infection on it, I was fine. You know, just le left it as it was. But um, 
I mean, there's all there's all different directions that problems can come from. Sometimes they'll really surprise you, just when you think you've got things figured out. So uh, I'll let this keep running. Of course, uh, just deleting all the other folders wouldn't. Uh, I'm having to trust my virus software to t take make sure it's not in hidden places, boot sectors, and stuff like that. <coughs> Because just deleting your Windows folders and all that other, but deleting all that stuff would give me some more space on the drive. <coughs> 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 I need to get a drink. 